This has got to be the easiest way to subtitle videos online. Like ever. And that's because I'm working right here inside Kapwing, which if you don't know is an online creation platform stock full of amazing features, effects, and functionality for creators. And one of those features being the auto subtitle tool. So you can follow along with me. Go ahead and click the link in my description below to start your free account with Kapwing. So let's jump on YouTube and find a video to subtitle. I'm gonna to go to my channel, go to my videos and click on this video right down here that doesn't have subtitles on it. I'm gonna click on the share button. I'm gonna copy that video link. Now let's jump back over to Kapwing and we're going to click on this button right here to create a new project. Now we're inside the Kapwing studio where you can upload your assets. In this case, we're going to be pasting the link we just copied in this area right here. Paste that in there and Kapwing will fetch that video. And when that is finished, you'll see your video right here on the timeline. Now I'm gonna be showing you how to do this on a desktop computer, but you can do this on a mobile device. It just might not be as easy to navigate. So now let's get right down to it. We're gonna move our mouse up here and click on this button for add subtitles. And we have three options here. You can auto subtitle, you can upload an SRT or a TXT file, or you can manually type out your captions, which takes forever. So what we wanna do is click right here on auto subtitle. Now it's important to note there are some limitations with the Kapwing free account. You are allotted up to 10 minutes of subtitles per month. So as you can see here, this video is eight minutes long and it's costing me eight minutes inside the free account. So the first step right here is to select the original language that's present in your video right now. In this case, this video is in English, so we're gonna stick with English. But as you can see here with the drop down menu, you can select pretty much every language. Now we're gonna move down to translate video two, which in this case, there is no translation needed since this video is in English and it will be subtitled in English. However, if you wanted to take your spoken English audio and translate it to a different language in subtitles, you can do that right here from this list. Again, pretty much every language is represented here. And now simply click on this button right here for auto subtitle. Now what happens is Kapwing will go to work and will begin transcribing the audio from your video into a transcript that we can then edit. And depending on the length of your video and the internet connection, we'll determine how long this process takes. And as soon as Kapwing has finished, you will see subtitles begin to blanket your screen. Now right here on the left is our transcript in text format. We can scroll down here and see all the words that have been transcribed. We can click down here in our timeline and see that there are subtitles on top of our video. We can scrub through it to review. We can also click that play button to review in real time. And if you zoom in, really far here, you can actually see each individual subtitle in its own layer. Now Kapwing's auto subtitle tool is about 99.9% .9 accurate. And therefore I do recommend that you go in and proofread your transcript here. You can check and review the spelling of the words. You can also edit punctuation. You can also add additional lines of text or merge lines of text together. You basically go through this entire transcript and edit it like a word document. And so once you have reviewed and edited your entire transcript here, now you wanna decide how many words you want on the screen at any given point in time. We have this slider up here for characters per subtitle. We can slide it up, which will add more words to the lines of subtitles, or we can slide it all the way down to zero to have single word subtitles on the screen. And since this is a widescreen video, I like to have three or four words on screen at a time. If this were a vertical social media video, it might be one or two words at a time. Now we can stylize our subtitles. Let's click down here into the timeline and onto one of these text layers. And when you click on that layer in your timeline, it will be highlighted. It'll also show the text layers selected inside your video. And with any given text layer on your timeline selected, we are presented with this panel over here on the right, which has all the text styles, animations, and transitions. This is where you can adjust the font, the size of the font, the color of the font. You can add animations for how it displays on the screen. You can also add transitions for how it pops up onto the screen. There are so many options here for customization and the folks at Kapwing have really thought of everything here. Now I'm a big believer in creating subtitles that people can actually read. Meaning you want to use a bold font, you want to put a background behind the font or a drop shadow or an outline. That way the subtitles don't get lost in your video. So don't make them too small, don't make skinny fonts and don't use dark colors. And no matter what text layer you have clicked inside your timeline, it will apply all your style customizations to all the subtitles. And once you have your subtitles stylized the way you want, the next step is to click up here on export project. 
Now again, it's important to remember the limitations with the Kapwing free account. You are allotted up to 10 minutes of subtitles per month, as well as videos up to four minutes in length. So if your video is over four minutes, you will need to cut that thing down in order to export it with the free account. But if you love this Kapwing auto subtitle tool so much, I do recommend you go back into my video description and grab that promo code where you can save yourself 10% when you upgrade to the Kapwing Pro account. And believe me, upgrading to Kapwing Pro is money well spent. And once you have your settings dialed in, go ahead and click that button to export to MP4. Now Kapwing will go to work and begin processing your video. And once it's done, you'll have this button right here where you can download it to your desktop. It just does not get easier than that. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, where we help you spend less time making more videos.